Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello, plant friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about plants. What a surprise, right? <laughs> I just can't stop looking at my plants because I'm always around them and I always need to check, you know? Maybe new leaf, maybe new bug, you know, all of the stuff. So I decided that since I'm looking this much at my plants, probably you would love to do something similar too. Because I have some plants that are most of the time not in the space where you can see them. So there is some plants that you probably saw like half a year ago. And if you're new to my channel, you probably haven't seen it at all. So today we'll share some plants that have new growth and I don't know, maybe make you happy because I am happy about it. So <laughs> anyway. Let's see what my plants decided to do this spring, right? Okay, so let's start from the smaller plants and then we'll go to the bigger ones. So this is Monstera acuminata. As you can tell, it's very small, I know. And you have seen it in one of my probably recent videos and sorry, some of my plants will have dust on them because we just did all the cleaning in home. So dust is all over the place once again because you know when you are trying to take out the dust from the carpet it goes everywhere else in your home so that's what happened <laughs> so this is monstera cuminata probably here is better to show right so last time you saw it it had only two leaves right now it has three and if you can tell i hope you can right here is growing a new one i love it I can't wait for it to be as big as my Monstera Adesonii <laughs> because I love it. I love it so much. Okay, another plant is very awkward and I have no idea what's going on. But first of all, let's look and appreciate this beautiful philodendron Brazil, right? The new growth is so variegated. I'm, I'm even worried, you know? Is it enough for green color for this baby? Because, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's dangerous. <laughs> So it's growing new leaves one by one, if you can tell, here new growth coming, here new growth coming. So it's loving the life, it's loving the spring, but what get me confused, what is that thing? <laughs> I shared an Instagram post about a um, couple weeks ago, I think, asking people what that could be, but nobody knows. So maybe you know, because that looks weird. I have no idea what that could be. At first I thought maybe it's a dill, but then I planted dill myself in other containers and it's growing very different way. So I have no idea what that is. It probably was in the soil mix. So it's, you know, a surprise plant. And maybe you have an idea what that could be. Because I'm very, very, very curious, you know? So if you know, let me know because I need to know wrap <laughs> okay Ooh. okay so next plant is uh, how I could tell it nicely well it was an accident I left this fairy garden standing in my kitchen table and behind this fairy garden there were some snacks and Rocky while I was out of my home decided to grab those snacks and while grabbing the snacks he knocked off this fairy garden and it fell to the floor and broke most of the plants. So I came back home, I found it, I was very angry, but I reported it and here we are again here. So what's the coolest, weirdest thing? That these blue cacti, cacti decided to turn green for some reason. Then this top of this euphorbia is growing weirdly, weirdly thin. And I think it probably needs more sun, plus the top was broken off, so it's weird. Then this mammillaria is actually growing out of control because when I potted it up, it was like one quarter smaller. So it's, it's so cool to see it's so big now. And the weirdest plant, just look at this euphorbia, guys. So I don't know if you can tell, but this plant got the strongest hit. That's exactly when the, in what side pot fall, fell. So as you can tell, the top of this euphorbia 
broke off completely. There was no top, it was just crashed, you know, all bloody. There was everywhere brains of this plant, you know, it just wasn't, it was terrible. But instead of growing a new head, it decided to grow seven small ones. New ones. So it just looks like a dragon now for me. You know that fairy tales when um, knights are trying to fight the dragon, they cut off his head and then instead of one it grows two or seven. Well, this is this dragon, only it's a cacti. Euphorbia. Weird things are happening in this household, what can I tell? But I love it. Sorry if you can hear this. Because when I decided to film this video, my neighbor decided to do something in their household. It's annoying. Next. Next I have this awesome cactus, right? And actually this small baby was growing on top of it, right? Straight, straight on top of it. But then it decided to lean. And I was a little bit worried, like, what's going on? Why are you leaning? And then I noticed, look at that, look at that, you see, this is a baby, so it will be a rabbit, <laughs> I am so excited. So instead of having one head, it will have two ears now. How amazing is that? I love spring, I just love how cute that is. <gasps> Can you imagine a cuter plant because it's so weird and so cool looking, I love it. Talking about weird cacti, I also have this one. So this is kind of weird as well. I know it looks like spiky potatoes, but the new growth, as you can tell, looks very funny. So they should be this, you know, roundish, like this one. The new one is kind of roundish as well, right? But well, this two decided to be a bit longer. <laughs> and that's funny and I love it. I know it's not enough sun. I mean, I'm trying, guys. Next one, as you can tell, I'm a Sensiveria fan, so there is obviously some Sensiverias in this haul. This one is Bird Nest Sensiveria, and as you can tell by looking in the color, at the color of these new leaves, they're much lighter, right? So I have three Sensiverias Bird Nests, and all of them are having new leaves, and I think two or three each. So just look, this one is kinda new, then there's this one, and then there's this one. Beautiful, I love it how big it gets. Talking about Sensuarius, I have some propagations, and here you can see some. So, I'll be honest, I am not changing water in this glass. I'm just feeling a little bit more newer every week, but it stays the same, and guys, it doesn't, that doesn't mind too much it. But look at this new growth. Can you see this one, baby? So I think in one of some videos in the future this month probably I'll report it because I think this baby is ready. I was, you know, enjoying looking at it, but I think it's time to go to the soil. So that should be exciting. I can't wait, guys. Talking about exciting. Look at that. So this is Alocasia Poly. I got it as a present from Ellen from the Winding Leaf channel, right? And it had three small leaves, if I'm correct right now. And during the winter, all of those leaf, leaves died off. And I was so worried because there were left only this stem. So one spike, you know, standing there with no leaves. And it looked sad, to be honest. And I was so nervous because I appreciate this plant so much. I tried to do everything to, you know, to keep it alive because it's so special for me. I was keeping it next to humidifiers and all of the stuff, but it just died off. And I was really nervous, but I just thought, well, stay there, you know, maybe something will happen. And look what happened. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, next plant you pretty often see on my background, it's standing over there. I took it with me here closer, and this is my ZZ Raven. As you can tell, it grows in this terracotta pot. So it had five new leaves, five new shoots. As you can tell, these are one of, of these new shoots, but most of them are already black. 
they were neon green so beautiful and right now almost all of them are completely black and i just love this plant it's so you know it's real raven i love it i love every single bit of it and there is some potatoes coming out so i need to put some soil on top but surprisingly i can't keep normal zizi plants alive in my home for some reason so i was very nervous while you know having this one but this is so much easier to grow than the green one and that's weird but you know <laughs> so it's one of my favorite plants in my entire life and i love him so much and if you're i don't know thinking about getting one get one because they're magical i love how the green goes to the black and you know it's it's beautiful you can tell the it. Next, I have another alocasia poly, and this is much bigger. And actually, I bought it when it was blooming, so it had two beautiful blooms. And I was nervous, you know, what will happen next, because it was in the middle, and when the blooms died off, it was just empty there. And I, I was really nervous, but guys, guys, I'm not nervous anymore. Look at that. Look how shiny it is, how beautiful it is. So it's already have six leaves and this one will be the seventh one. And there are some damaged leaves from the shop, you know, I already got them like that. But they are fine, they're holding on. It stands in my kitchen, so I never thought that it will be so easy to grow in Alocasia. But this one loves, loves my home. I mean, is that a real life, guys? I love it. I love this plant. Amazing. Another plant isn't that of a happy story. I have it for almost a year now. And guys, it was too beautiful Carnosa branches. So Hoya Carnosa branches, right? The one died off. But the other one that was facing the window, just look at it. It, li it lives its best life. There's so many new growth coming. I think it's three new leaves that came about a month ago so it's so exciting i need to report it i know but i will do it very soon because finally i have soil my sister bring some bring 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 some another plant is this desert rose and it also stands in the kitchen <laughs> actually right now it's in quarantine because i am still fighting the mealy bugs on it I am sprinkling it every single week, but still every single week I find at least one new bug. So pray for me, guys, because sometimes I'm losing my nerves, sometimes I'm losing my hope, but I'm fighting. I'm not giving up and I'm trying to keep it as far from other plants as possible because it's such a beautiful plant. I actually cut all of the branches and as you can tell, the new growth is coming so i'm excited to see it grow and i'm excited to see those bugs gone so i hope it will happen soon another plant you have seen not that long ago and this is sensiveria velfin right and just look at this new baby it's so much bigger than you have seen last time right i love the way it looks it's so beautiful i just love to look inside you know but for now just only one leaf <laughs> But I can't wait to report it, guys, and have a new welcome to the Gorgeous plant. Gorgeous. And last but not least, guys, this is a present from my sister. And it's this huge aloe plant. And actually, it's standing on my closet over there, back, back there. So it's, it's kind of dark there, you know? And it's doing all right, it's doing great, it's growing to babies actually. And when my sister got it to me, it was like 12 babies inside already. So I took all of these babies out and put it to grow alone, you know, to put all the energy in its own leaves. But guys, this plant is just like, you know, he loves to make babies. <laughs> so soon I will once again take these babies out but for now it just looks like a cute small family am i right i love this plant it's actually also one of my favorites i never was a big fan of aloe plants but this one is very special because it's a present from my sister and i just love how huge that is i mean just look at its size i love the contrast with terracotta pot you know that 
aged terracotta pot. It reminds me of old times, of old grandmas, and I just love it. Okay, guys, and that will be it. This is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy this because I am so excited to always see new growth on my plants. And actually, talking about new growth, soon I will make a update of my garden because most of the plants are already growing and they're not that small. I'm looking at them right now. <laughs> and I'm so excited to show you what was the first one to grow, what was the last one to grow, and to just share all of this experience because I have something new in there. So about that next time. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to comment. And till the next time, bye.